Anyways, it seems to me that the most emotion is concentrated right about y'all. His hand passes slightly above the book, so he quickly looks over them. Here. Saying this, he tilted one of the, hit the novel slightly downwards. Oh my god, it's a hidden passage! The bookshelf rattles and open and reveals a dark chamber with an I need to get out of this sound room and it's off. You are suddenly very painfully aware of how fast your heart is beating. Fumbling with your phone, you text a group chat to let everyone know your location. Mer holds his hand out to you. Shall we go in? You who give him a shaky smile. Way ahead of you. Thank God. Oh God, that was so bad. <laughs> Stepping inside makes you feel like you're no longer even in the same house. God, that noise was killing me. Column, column stretches, column stretch so far above you that your eyes are unable to register if a ceiling even exists. A chill runs down your spine. You're starting to feel feverish. You can't tell what temperature the room can something this large be called a room is, but you f can feel a constant wave of heavy air pressure. It feels hard. It hurts to breathe. Murr takes a step back and backwards in shock, struggling to catch his breath as well. What? What is this place? Nani? The others arrive and share the same reaction. We must get in towards the end. Joan looks like she's zoning out to cope with Marrow's, with while Marrow falls apart slightly, literally. Seba's tail is between his legs, and the iris looks more pale than usual. You take a deep breath and flex your hands a couple times to f keep calm. You'll be in and out in no time. The, the location doesn't matter. All we need to do is grab Hans and get out of here. I can't let you do that. Hans, you say? You almost trip backwards. How did you... Wait. No, who are you? Shouldn't I be the one asking that? Hans told me all about his friends, but he didn't mention anything about you. Well, no matter. My name is Asher. Oh, it's a demon. And here comes the introduction video, I suppose. Oh, it knows. Judge plus jury. Da da da. Right on schedule. What is psychic? Now, as for the rest of you, we're gonna save the game. Let's go. You hear someone yawn. Oh man, it feels nice having my heads on my shoulders again. What happened to his eyeballs? Oh, it's probably contacts. Chunibyo. Headless. Haha. I don't even feel like trusting whatever that just was. Hans? Saba? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm back in one piece. Or should I say, two pieces? Haha, <laughs> good enough for me. What do you mean? Hey, you. Well, you couldn't possibly be referring to me, right? To be addressed in such. Um, don't make me drop the people's elbow on you. In such a lowly manner. Sebus's flames start to flicker red. Did you have anything to do with Mara losing consciousness earlier? Do you mean the skeleton? So, then, my sincerest apologies. When you think about it, though, wasn't I just returning them back to their original form? In a way. You keeping that thing alive is far worse than my unconscious actions, you know? Seba ignores the angel's comments immediately, entirely. First Hans is a marrow. Listen, I've been looking for a way to blow off some steam lately. I don't suppose you'd mind if I took it out on you. Jesus, what the crap? The angel gives a short laugh. The teeth? Ooh. <laughs> I was just thinking the same! Don't worry. I'll be sure to send you back from whatever hell you came crawling out of. Seba excels smoke pouring out of his jaw. Fire starts scattering across his fingertips, tips of his fingers. Be my guest. Da da da! Epic battle. Within seconds, Seba is engulfed by flame. He looks back towards you with a sense of urgency. Grab Hans and go. I'll hold them off until you're safe. Who's them? Got it. Hans stares in awe, his own flame diminished by the sheer velocity of their collision. His eyes sparkle and he mumbles something to himself about Naruto! Naruto! You grab his hand and give it a tug. We need to get out of here now. Hans looks at you, confused when some of Sebus's sparks lands on his arm. Ow! You okay? Hans grips grips his left arm tightly as it trembles, grimacing. 
Oh god. The darkness sealed in my left arm seems to have been awakened. Perhaps it is time to unleash my final move. God dang it, Kaido. Oh my goodness, let's go. Pull Hans with you as you take off running. The rest of the Bastion's residents not trailing not too far behind. Dang, they just gonna leave them to fight? You si that escalated way too quickly. Like, they <laughs> why are they fighting? You, you silently hope that Sebel will make it out okay. Retracing your steps, you slam the open this. You slam open the same door you came from. How do you slam something open? What? You turn around frantically, looking for any sign of life. Hans? Anyone? There is no response. Where did everyone go? My, my, my. You didn't think you would be able to escape, did you? You! What did you do to Seba? Someone's touchy. You don't actually think that would hurt any of you, do you? You got some green teeth. Your friend the dog boy is safe. He's just taking a short nap. Although I admit it was somewhat irritating to having to, having to deal with him. But any friend of Hans is a friend of mine, to be honest. Why are you drawing? I would do anything to make Hans happy. Let's say that hypothetically I believe you. If you love Hans so much, why do you what would you want him dead? Me? Want Hans dead? I'm afraid that you're sorely mistaken. I was told that his life was reaching its end and that I was to guide his soul afterwards, but if anything, I've been keeping him alive this whole time. He's such a wonderful person that I didn't want him to pass on. Wait, then why did Hans say you were trying to kill him? He must have misunderstood, because I've been delaying the inevitable. I became trapped in this place, in this place with Hans. Initially, there wasn't much of a problem since I would love to spend an eternity with him. But now that you and your friends have ended up here, it's become somewhat problematic since your people require food and sustenance. Well, surely with this many people here, we can break out together. As much as I want to sh wish to share this optimism, the only way to leave is for a soul to be delivered to where you hear someone scoff. The only way out is with a soul. Uh, yeah, right. Joan, everyone else, you're okay. Mina, you can't help but sigh with relief knowing that you're all in the same place. Also, I think I might have figured out the mystery. And to what might you be referring to? Well, Hans is a dull hand, so we know that he's supposed to be immortal. It wouldn't make sense for someone like that to be on your list of people to collect, no? Okay. When I mentioned the two tail a cat in the dining room earlier, Jones seems to have recognized it. The color itself was smeared, but I believe that, ca that the cat's name was actually Hans. Am I right, Joan? Everyone turns to look at her. She looks away. The time it, it seemed like it, like it seemed like it'd be real funny, <laughs> really funny. <laughs> In what way? Well, you always say that you like cats and cat girls so much, so I figured why not name one after you. Hans put his face down in defeat. Listen, I hate to ruin such. Especially after you deduced all that, but the truth of the matter is that even if the order was wrong. We still need to sacrifice a soul for all of us to leave here safely. Just take the cat! I can't go grab the cat, Hans, while I'm still stuck in this barrier with you guys. You get the feeling that you're the only chance everyone can make it out safe. Everyone else here is in some way, shape, or form supernatural, so they want me to serve... They want... <laughs> as a complete substitute because of the nature of their soul. Besides, of course, the resident doll hands see who is meant to be taken in the first place. Opting to not sacrifice the soul at all would result in everyone starving to death. It seems as though we'll either come down to you or Hans. Quick save. Quick save. <laughs> Maybe I. I'll do it. What? Hasril, do what you've got to do. Thank you. Buddy struggles to pull you away from Hasril, almost dropping Hans in the process. Hey, watch it. You try to respond or say any form of words, but your body goes slack. The only thing you're aware of is your ign 
Egg and nut. Pure silence. <laughs> I don't know how to end it. Agonize the linking Senses of direction and time are lost, and you can even feel your sense of self fading away. You can't tell if your eyes are open or closed because of the absence of light. The one thing that you feel is that you are slowly forgetting your memories. Any responsibilities, hardships, and traumas seem to have never existed. You've never been in such a peaceful state before. You feel something wet on your skin. Are you crying? You don't remember why. A teardrop falls from your face and falls onto your body. Water. Mizu. Dripping. It seems like that happened to you recently. Recently? An uber flashes into your mind. Oh, I'm going back in time. There was rain dripping from the roof. You were going to a mansion and... You remember being scared at first, but getting close to Buddy as time went on. You remember helping Buddy find new accessories and making s'mores. <laughs> you never got to say goodbye to him. Even though you knew Buddy briefly, you felt like you could have had such a great time together. If only you could tell him that you... Your motors are stronger than you look. You look, turn around to see who it was, but when you try to open your eyes, you feel a burst of pain. Thank you for everything. Yeah, no problem, Kaido. Wait, well, why did I just say that? I don't know you. Buddy, is that you? Yes, yeah, it's nice to meet you. What? Are your eyes okay? It looks like you just woke up, haha. -ha. What? The heck. I thought I had a one way thing where I can tell Buddy what to do, not the other way around. You're no match for me. You're no match for me, Buddy. Be quiet. What's up with your eyes, though? What? Nothing. Ugh, oh, goodness. Okay, fine, but you better not laugh. Those are the coolest eyes I've ever... Really? Oh my god. Let's just get... Yeah, where'd you get the contacts? Uh, from dying and coming back. These eyes will take some getting used to since... Well, the color spectrum looks different and I can look you see ghosts now, but... You close your eyes momentarily to steady yourself. A smile skips your lips and just you look around once more. Don't worry, though. This isn't like I'm saying goodbye or anything. For as long as you'll have me, I'll always come to visit you by moonlight. The end. What? Wow. Man, I'm guessing there's a bunch of different endings up to this. Deciding on who you pick. But. That is a high game. This, the story wasn't bad. And it had like a lot of, like, what's it called? References to things. Animu, which is cool. It wasn't the best story I've ever read either, though. It was like lot of reading. Granted, it's a visual novel. Characters are right, too. No, I'm... Um, I really like Buddy, I guess. I like his emoticons he kept using. That's sort of cool. Uh, I think I'd probably give this game like a 6 out of 10. It's fun, though. Alright, guys. So this concludes the walkthrough of By Moonlight. Actually, let's see what happens if we sacrifice Hans before we do that. Eh. That moon is like the whole animation bunch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not not quite interested enough to do all the characters' endings, personally. Hans should! Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better opportunity. Sure, I'm a paranormal investigator, but some of my more specialized services are, well, permanent... Paranormal expert termination! Seeing so many of you so <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, maybe I haven't clicked it. It was a shock at first, if I'm trying to be on quite honest. I wasn't sure how to kill each of you <laughs> without the others realizing, so I played along, but 
I'd, wow, this is messed up. <laughs> Would have to choose between dying a slow, painful death or sacrificing one of your dear friends. I can ask for a better way to reach the end of my own life. End of my life. Bring at least one, if not the rest of you, down with me. Everyone stares in dead silence, struck between disbelief and betrayal. You know, from the moment that I met you, I could see the darkness spilling out from your heart. I initially thought it was a mistake on my part, considering how nice you were behaving. After all, no one could truly be that twisted, right? Clearly I was wrong. All this has done to strengthen my belief that you humans are corrupt. The fact that beings such as yourself continue to thrive in this world makes me want to hasten the apocalypse. Ah, oh, but don't worry, Fluffy Panda. Don't flame me. You don't have to worry. wait for the Day of Judgment. I'll send you to hell straight away. Fight me, punk. That end where you belong. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, I'm assuming there's different endings you can get with the different characters if you choose them as your companion. But I'm not not doing that. <laughs> it was a good game. It was not I'm not that curious though. So, to see what all the other characters' endings were. There are images you can unlock though, so let's go. Yeah. Woo. <sighs> Alright guys. Thanks for watching as always. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna try to do more of these walkthroughs when I beat a game. And then I'll also re release a review as well. But whenever I can actually get to my OBS and close it. <laughs> Thanks for watching as always. Bye!